Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Time now for weather, and we take the three o'clock chart from the Sydney Bureau as our reference. The high pressure area straddles the waters of Bass Strait, giving us very slack onshore gradients, perhaps one or two isolated showers, more particularly in the north, but we should have a, a fine day and uh, temperatures much the same as today. Regarded as a true gentleman, meteorologist Des Hart was NBN's first weather presenter. He pioneered a method of using sliding boards to display the latest information which was handwritten onto each screen. And at the time, it was state-of-the-art technology. To the cloud satellite picture before we go, this cloud is associated with tropical cyclone Max, and this is through the trough that comes down to link up with the frontal zone off the Western Australian coast. Long way away to uh, influence our weather. It won't be here for two or three days. And now onto the valley to have a look at temperatures um, observed. Our own range went from 17 to 24. Um, top of 30 was a shared affair between Scone, Merry War, Jerry's Plains and the fair city of Maitland. While Des handled Monday to Friday, Nat Jeffrey got a start as the weekend weatherman. In those days we used to get our information by telex. So the telex would pump out some, some information for me. The synoptic chart in those days we used to get in codes of latitude and longitude and I'd have to go and actually plot the points on a, on a chart and then draw the isobars in and then go downstairs into the studio with a black texter and actually draw the isobars on a perspex chart that we had down there, a map of Australia. And we had uh, little discs with temperatures and rainfall figures on them that we used to stick onto the boards with blue tack. And of course, sometimes they would fall off. You'd be standing, <laughs> standing delivering the weather and you'd hear this tink. Des had the knack of calmly explaining the science behind the weather and often took his blackboard into the field. On this occasion, he was speaking to young boaties at the Belmont 16-foot sailing club on Lake Macquarie. By the time Nat Jeffrey took over as weatherman in the mid-80s, the technology had advanced a little. 30 degrees for Cairns, 30 also for Darwin and Broome and Perth fine as well. A top there of around 26 degrees. In the viewing area, another mild night and a rather warm day overnight minima between about 5 and 8 degrees above normal. Today's maxima between normal and 3 degrees above. Ray always used to tell me that I took it too seriously, but uh, I knew how important the weather was, especially then, because people didn't have access to the internet like they do now. And uh, television was probably the main source of weather information in those days. Well, a few grey clouds about. Let's find out what they're doing. Here's Nat Jeffrey. Thanks, Melinda. We have some patchy rain about. It's been moving in from the southwest during the day. It looks like we'll have more rain about tomorrow and a few showers again on Saturday, but Sunday looks like being mainly dry. And I knew because of the rural community in the NBN viewing area that they needed fairly reliable weather information, so I took it seriously. And, uh, and there were so many other people that wanted to know what was happening, whether were the surfers and hang glider pilots and fishermen and boating people and you know, everybody has an interest in it at some stage or another, even if it's just to know whether you want to take an umbrella when you're going to work. So, yeah, I was passionate about it. I'm still passionate about it. Tomorrow night, we catch up with weatherman number three, and we find out who inspired our current weather presenter. It was a great